Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Van Zang. This is the S880 PCI 4.0 M.2 NVMe drive. Now this drive will uh, support uh, several different platforms such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and even your PlayStation 5 if you're looking to do an upgrade. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a PCIe a 4.0 M.2 NVMe, and it can boast speeds, uh, read speeds up to uh, 7,300 megabits per second, and write speeds up to 6,500 megabits per second. Uh, it does come with a five-year warranty, and I'll have some of the specs on the screen for you guys to check out as well, so that you can see exactly uh, what this drive is all about. So again, we've got uh, PCIe Gen 4x4 uh, up to 7,300 megabits per second on the read, 6,500 megabits per second on the write. We've got 3D NAND TLC flash with this uh, as well as a five-year limited warranty. So if you should buy one of these drives, you are covered by them for up to five years. So that's a good peace of mind as well. Overall, this will work really great for a laptop to speed up your boot drive, a PC, or even a PlayStation 5. Let's get this open and check it out. Okay, so opening up the box here is pretty simple. Uh, it's uh, fairly simple packaging, uh, which is fine for a drive of this size. Uh, no need to add any extras in there uh, that we don't necessarily need as far as waste goes. Uh, so you can see that it's uh, got some documentation here. Uh, we do get a few other little things that I do want to go over as well. Uh, the documentation comes in two different languages uh, for this solid state drive. So if English is not your first language, you should be okay here. It's going to show you how to do the install, which I'm also going to show you how to do. Uh, for quick reference, if you need this, hold on to it uh, just in case. Taking a look at the rest of the packaging here, we've got a screwdriver uh, for install. So in case you don't have a Phillips screwdriver on hand, they do give you one. And more importantly, they, all, they give you an extra screw to hold down the drive. Sometimes uh, motherboard manufacturers don't include an extra screw for your uh, NVMe uh, M.2 drives, uh, but this means you get an extra one here. We also have the drive, of course, itself. Uh, but nice touch that they do include a screw. Some do not, and I'm glad that they did. Now, uh, this drive is a, a 2280 size. Uh, you're going to be able to see here that you do get, have a thermal sticker on the top uh, that's made up of a couple different layers uh, to help control uh, thermals on this particular drive. Uh, you do have your uh, regular key cutout here uh, for uh, PCIe 4.0. Uh, and then, of course, on the other side, you've got a little slot there uh, to uh, secure the drive in place, which we're going to do as well. Uh, this is the one terabyte version. They also have a two terabyte and a four terabyte version uh, for you to choose from. So let's take a look at how to install this drive on your motherboard, uh, and we'll get going on that, and then we'll run some tests as well. For installation, you're going to have to locate your M.2 slot uh, on your motherboard. Uh, if you're doing this on a PS5, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but then you're going to see that it's got two segments there, uh, and it also has a screw holes for different size uh, M.2 drives. My motherboard did include an extra screw, but again, you get one in the package. Uh, so if yours doesn't, you don't have to worry about it. You're just going to unscrew the existing screw if it's already there. Uh, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll insert the drive. And you have to be careful when you insert this drive. You do not want to insert it incorrectly. You're going to want to line the pins up as you can see and you're going to want to angle this at a 30 degree angle uh, so the smaller slot will go there uh, right into the slot lined up 
on the right hand side uh, and we're going to do this at a 30 degree angle and I'm kind of going to just uh, maybe position this a little bit so that you can see it. So 30 degree angle, you're going to see that it slots in like that. Now it's spring loaded, so all you have to do is push down and then you can screw in your screw to hold it in place and you will now have it installed. Uh, so that is what we're gonna do here. We're going to screw this uh, back down. I can leave this up uh, because it is spring-loaded, uh, and we're good to go. So this is a pretty simple install if you've never installed an NVMe drive or M.2 drive before. You can see now that we have screwed this in, it is locked into place, and you are now ready to go. Okay, so once you fire up your computer, you're going to see your existing drives here, but you're not going to see the new drive yet. You can uh, initialize the drive by going to Disk Management. Uh, you can right-click on your Start menu, go to Disk Management. It'll bring up this new disk that it sees, uh, and you can tell it to initialize the disk. So just make sure that it's checked. Uh, if you're gonna be using this as a boot disk, you wanna do it in MBR. Any other uh, scenario, so GBT will be fine if it's gonna be a secondary drive or something like that. Uh, so we can click OK at this point. And this is going to register the disk in disk management. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger uh, to kind of show you where it is. And there it is, uh, it's called disk two. Uh, it's got unallocated space at this point. So what we need to do is we need to format this drive. We need to allocate the space and format it. So what we're going to do is right click on that unallocated space and we are going to do a new simple volume and it's going to take us through this little wizard here. We'll click next. If we want to make the whole thing a one volume here and assign a drive letter of our liking and then click next again. Uh, NTFS or XFAT, uh, leave everything at default. And you can even name this if you wish, uh, if you want to identify the drive itself. I'm going to name mine the Fanzang one terabyte SSD drive. So that's what we're going to name this particular drive. Uh, so we're gonna put that in here in the volume label so that we can uh, differentiate it from drives I've already have installed on my PC. Now once we do this, we just click next and it will format the drive and then we should be good to go. So Fanzang, one terabyte, click finish and boom, there you go. It's up and ready to go on your PC and ready to load files onto. Now I wanna run a few tests here. I've got a crystal disk info on here so we can monitor the uh, actual drive itself. It is my E drive. That's what we just set it up as in disk management. And you can see our temperature here uh, is 39 degrees Celsius, which is in line with the other uh, NVMe drives that I have already in my system here. Uh, so, so far the thermals are doing really well. Uh, and I'm going to set this to refresh every minute as we do our crystal disk mark test here for our speed and see how high uh, the thermals get on this. Uh, we've got our auto reset, uh, refresh set to one minute. Uh, and this test will take several, uh, so we will get several updates as we go. So we're currently at 39 degrees Celsius. Now let's go over to a crystal disk mark, uh, make sure that we are on the E drive, that's the newest drive that I just put in, and we will make sure that we're set for uh, uh, NVMe drives, and we will click all here, and we will start to see our results. Okay, so I sped up the test so you didn't have to watch the entire thing, but you can see our sequential reads are at 7,101 megabits per second with writes at 6,700 megabits per second. So extremely fast. You're getting those PCIe 4.0 uh, speeds out of this, a very solid result here uh, overall. Now you can see it's currently at 49 degrees Celsius. It topped out at 51 degrees. Celsius and we were refreshing every one minute 
Uh, so we got about three or four refreshes during the test. It only topped out at about 51 uh, degrees Celsius, which is well within operating tolerances. And you're not really going to be doing this type of uh, usage with your drive, even if you're gaming or just working on your PC, uh, you're not going to uh, be punishing it like we are with a test like this. Uh, so 51 is a very respectable uh, top thermal there for it as well. Overall, just very, very nice speeds from this drive. And the thermals held up a very well also with it just topping out at 51 degrees Celsius in my PC. And we are punishing it pretty good with a crystal disc mark. You normally wouldn't do that with uh, just PC gaming or uh, you know normal work that you would be doing with your PC. And this again would also be a great addition for your PlayStation 5. So there you go, that's my review of the Fanzang S880 PCIe 4.0 NVMe solid state drive. The things I really like about this are you get true PCIe 4.0 speeds out of this as you saw. The thermals were under control even during the test and they back it up with a five year warranty. If you're looking for a uh, PCIe 4.0 NVMe drive, you might want to check out the S880. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll check you guys out on the next one.